I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. This is Colin McGuigan for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Join me the victorious Kurt Walker. Kurt, how was that in there tonight? Brilliant, man. I enjoyed it. Uh, had a few friends over, a few family. Potty had loads of fans. Kieran had loads of fans, so there was, there was good Irish noise. It was brilliant. I enjoyed it. He looked like a tricky opponent, and I'll say from my point of view, I've seen him maybe nibble at your neck as well at one point. Is it good to get rounds with someone like that for the experience at this stage of your career? Yeah, 100%. He's never been stopped. He's only ever been disqualified, and... He is awkward. I don't think I'll ever find anyone as awkward as him. And then to bite me in what round was it? The sixth, is it? He bit me like, and then I just thought, you know what, I'll take my chance. It's on Irish TV. So I started showboating a bit and making him look a bit stupid. I enjoyed it. At this point of your career now, you, you moved to um, 4 0 now after that win. Hopefully 5 0 by the end of the year after a, a fight at Belfast. Are you happy with this first kind of. 12 months or so in your career under the top ranking common boxing banner? Yeah, brilliant. Jimmy's matched me brilliantly. First fight, you know, it was good to get me. Body shot. He wasn't up to much, but it was good for my debut. Second fight was an experienced journeyman. Third fight was an 18 3 Argentinian, tough, who comes forward. And then obviously that fight, the fellow who stands off, long arms, dirty. So I fought every style, nearly enough every style in four fights. So I couldn't have asked for much more. Big one in December, maybe a step up, and then finish the year and a half. How do you feel you're progressing under the watchful eye of H in the corner? He's very focal. I've seen him talk to you in between each round. It looks like you're really got that rapport with H now going forward. Yeah, brilliant. Um, anyone who's watched that and watched my last fight, even though I was thought I was very good in my last fight, there's, there's improvements there. My job in his own point when I do it right, my body work, you know, touching, doing stuff, throwing a bit harder as well. You know, I, I could feel it hitting my hands when I was hitting him. I never really put much into my punches, but I was putting a lot in that and he took them well. So, yeah, I'm changing and I'm getting better. We know you're out on the 10th of December. Where will we see Kurt Walker in the next 6 to 12 months? And where do you want to be at that point of your career? Next 12 months, obviously, is it October now. I want to be headline. Maybe the Ulster Hall in Belfast, something like that. You know, 1100 or whatever it holds. I will be headline next year, that's a fact. So hopefully in the eight rounder, after I get maybe two, two or three more six rounders, I feel great I can go up the eight right now. But I'm enjoying the learning curve and whatever Jimmy has planned for me, you know, I'm sure it'll be the best. Well, Kurt, thanks a million and uh, enjoy the, the rest of your night and we'll speak again soon. Cheers, thank you, thank you. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session.